Muddy ground makes perfect prints. I knew there was a survivor from that plane wreck, a child. Those tiger cubs probably shredded him by now. Sorry I wasn't there to watch. What a treat that would have been. We'll find his bones soon enough, though. But he didn't find me or my bones, not until much, much later. Time warped us like a funhouse mirror. The wild stretched and thickened us. My new brothers became more like me, and I more like them. So we made our way in the motherless world, living beneath the so-called higher thoughts of men. Three orphans, one heart, no fears, no worries. Hakuna Matata. Then I'd learned what I didn't know as a child, that all things end, that even the wild could be pierced. Mr. Victor, Mr. Victor, come quickly. There's been a tiger attack. Two gazelles kept inside the den so your customers could hunt them easily. Dead. Eaten. Something got inside my land without me knowing? Look at the teeth marks on the gnawed bone, and there are three sets of prints. Three tigers. No, two tigers, yes, but something else, too. These prints are bipedal, maybe even human? Could that little shit from the plane wreck have survived all these years? Though my days were spent free in the wild, my nights were tormented. The carnival was no longer like a dream, it was the dream. The clowns and magic performers laid bare as freaks. I tried to hold the line between reality and fantasy. I don't see why we can't go back again, Jason, just because I'm dead. But I heard my mother's voice and weakened, giving things a chance to slip through. Time to see the world, boy! Talk and roar heard it too, so it was real. Or did my brother share my dream? What do you want? Get out of my head! Your head? Funny, I thought it was mine! You prove it's yours, you have a receipt? <laughs> Go away, clown, or I'll have your head too! <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with it! We would! We eat the little bits of flesh and keep the skull as a drinking mug! You kiss your dead mother with that mouth? If this was just fun and games, talk like that might be fine. But if it's not a joke, it's real. Now mind your mother. I'm here, sweetie. Mother! <laughs> her hand floated in light, returning the same way it vanished. The line between us wavered, warped, bent, and shattered. Again my mother was ripped from me, again I nearly died. That's the first time I ever missed, Tiger Boy. I swear it'll be the last. 